Welcome to Spitfire Mods. Today we're going to go over the setup of the the reflow station, the Mach 10, 20, or 30. Um, it's a modified HR360. And what we're going to be talking about is probe locations and how to probe your board for monitoring during the reflow process. So right now I'd like to just point out there's this machine has two optional um, probes as well as a meter which measures the board temperature. Um, this would be a Mach 30 layout, so you should have a, uh, a panel meter right here. This is a, a different type of meter, but um, the same function. It's going to show you um, the first first probe, which is going to be on the on the GPU, and then the second probe here, which measures bottom airflow, and then a probe here, which is under tension on the bottom of the board. So you take your board like this, position your board on your rat. Lock the board into place with the two side arms. And then um, there's a set of clips. If you didn't get them with the early units, you can call us. We'll send you out a set of clips, but the units right now are shipping with clips. The clip is a is to hold the uh, board down. So once the board's on the stud, the clip will keep it from flexing. Otherwise, the board sometimes uh, warp. When guys use this, a heat gun, a lot of times the, the board will warp right back the way they, they use it. So if you're working on a heat gun board from the past, you're going to need some clips. All right, so our bottom sensor is up against the bottom of the board. Our other one is in our lower uh, hot air stream, and then um, and now we're going to put on our upper our upper probe. This is the primary probe here. This is our bottom airflow here. Um, this is not used. Uh, that's that's a a test jack right there that currently is not in any of our production models. So what we're going to do is straighten out our, our primary wire, which is the fine probe. This sl slides under the heat spreader on the on the GPU. So we're going to get ourselves a fresh piece of uh, captain tape. Now, on the GPU here on the PS3, what you're going to see is you have you have four sides to the PS3, and then you have the CPU over here. The side on, towards the CPU is actually where you're going to probe. This side, this side, and this side all have components underneath the heat spreader. So what we're going to do is come in from the left side and take our probe. Our probe is going to slide underneath the heat spreader about a half a centimeter or five millimeters. And then you're going to take a piece of tape and secure it in place. Uh, if you want to, you can add a second piece of tape. That piece of tape is to hold the, hold the tip the right depth, but you can take a second piece of tape and put it on the board as well. And what that'll do is if this tape uh, buckles from the heat, the other one will actually hold position. So now we're all set up in place. We can position our upper nozzle and start our reflow. So that would be how you monitor the, the PS3. We're going to make another video on the Xboxes and how you probe the Xbox. But coming in from the CPU side, about five millimeters underneath the heat spreader, and that's the position that you want to reach the, the reflow temperature. Thanks for watching.